coconut. Hey, everybody. I'm Dan Davidson. And I'm not. And it's time for the news from TrekNews.net. Spanning the Alpha Quadrant. For all the news on all the Star Trek's, yo. It's the very bionicle TrekNews.net. Online at treknews.net. Wow, you, you really took that someplace. People could can't see you, but you were running in slow motion like Colonel Steve Austin. Uh-huh. Yep. yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, and notice my little callback to Chevy Chase there. That's uh, very nice. Since we were talking about European vacation during the uh, Patreon section. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the news from treknews.net, the oldest brand new Star Trek news podcast from Trek Geeks for the week of February 11th, 2021. Years flying right on by. First up, Dan, award nominations are starting to roll in, and this one is very special for us, uh, considering we're celebrating Black History Month here on the network. Yeah, this is absolutely great, Bill. It's fantastic news, and it's so well-deserved. We've been hearing about all kinds of nominations for ver- various aspects of Star Trek over the past couple of weeks, but this one's really special. Hannah Lee Culpepper has been nominated for the NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Directing in a Drama Series for Star Trek Picard, specifically for the premiere episode of the series, Remembrance. Now, we know, of course, that she directed the first three episodes of Picard and has been heavily involved with Discovery 2, but this nomination is truly outstanding and it is so well-deserved. We wish her luck and win or lose. We love the work she does and look forward to seeing so much more. And also, Bill, I have a sneaking suspicion that other nominations will be discussed in future episodes of the news, uh, but this one just deserves something special. Something. Oh, <laughs> so, you mean something? Yes. <laughs> because you're not 16? And I'm not Bob Marley. <laughs> <laughs> the comedian. No, you know, we got the uh, the opportunity to meet Han Lee at uh, the Star Trek Picard premiere. Yeah. And um, it was so great that she directed the first couple of episodes of that series. And it's it's even better that she's getting the recognition I think she, she truly deserves. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks for adding a lot there, Dan. Not much more you can say when you say it all, pal. I'm going to keep you reminded of that fact for time and all eternity. <laughs> uh, Dan, also last week, right here on the news from treknews.net, we discussed a brand new documentary that was going to be screened in theaters. And oddly enough, we just happen to have a very welcome update, don't we? Yeah, we certainly do. Uh, both you and I thought it was a little weird and kind of poor taste that Fathom uh, Events decided to hold screenings of the new Nichelle's, uh, Nichelle Nichols documentary, Women in Motion, Nichelle Nichols, Star Trek and the Remaking of NASA in theaters during the pandemic, but we're happy to see that this documentary will be released digitally and on demand on February 16th, 2021. Now, this is going to be a fantastic opportunity for millions of fans of Nichelle, Star Trek, and NASA to see an inspiring documentary on her career and her work to help reshape NASA to be more diverse. Now, for those of you that decide to pre-order the film from Apple, you're going to get exclusive bonus features, including an extended The Story Behind the Story featurette, as well as deleted scenes, teasers, and trailers. Now, this is just great news, man, especially with everything going on and people still not being able to, you know, resume their normal routine. So watch it at home, enjoy it, and love some Nichelle Nichols. Uh, absolutely. I can't wait to watch this. I was, I was concerned it wasn't going to be released for a while, but yeah. I'm glad to see it's going to happen pretty quickly here. Um, I, I think that this is knowledge that every Trekkie should have, um, because I think it, it matters in the long run. It does. It really does. And, um, especially with, with, with this month's celebration, it just seems right that it gets released during the month of February. No, I agree with you. And uh, of course, finally, Dan, it's sad here for this week on Trek Geeks. Another Star Trek legend has uh, has been lost. Yeah, I'm going to stand up right now and just say that last week really, really sucked. And when this news broke last Friday afternoon, it truly put a cap on a terrible week. Oscar winning actor, legend and Star Trek alum Christopher Plummer passed away last Friday at the age of 91. Of course, he's known for his amazing career in television and film, and most people instantly recognize him for his role of Captain Von Trapp in The Sound of Music. But for Star Trek fans, he will always be remembered for playing the main villain of Star Trek VI, the undiscovered country, the Klingon General Chang. 
His wit and ability to quote Shakespeare made him a fan favorite. And to be honest, Bill, I've always associated him with Star Trek over the Sound of Music because I actually only saw Sound of Music for the first time a few years ago, if you can believe that. Uh, he won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor back in 2012 for the movie Beginners, and his career spanned over six decades. Most recently, he was in the movie Knives Out, and I recommend that to everyone. It's a great movie, and he did a fantastic job in it. He is certainly going to be missed, uh, but he will live forever as General Chang. And not the only time he's played General Chang, because it was also in the video game Klingon Academy, right. where you get to see how Chang lost his eye which was pretty cool. Very cool. Nice. Yeah, that footage is online. I think Trekcore may have tweeted it out last week. Um, but yeah, definitely a, a big, big loss just you know, for entertainment in general because Christopher Plummer was such a legend. Absolutely. Uh, uh, before we go, we want to remind everybody that there are a few days left to qualify for the latest giveaway from fan sets of their brand new Pinmoji pins. Pinmoji, that's awesome. Yes, you need to enter this awesome contest, people. Uh, so just to refresh your memory, back in September, Star Trek had all kinds of special hashtags that had custom emoji characters. Well, our friends at Fansets have turned those emoji into an amazingly cool pin collection called Pinmoji, and they're giving away a full set of them before they're even available for purchase. They include Michael Burnham, Jordy LaForge, Spock, Beckett Mariner, Christopher Pike, Jonathan Archer, Benjamin Sisko, Catherine Janeway, and Jean-Luc Picard. Now, all nine Pinmoji characters will go to one lucky listener, and all you have to do is retweet this week's episode of the news from treknews.net with the hashtag EmojiTrek. Everyone who does that will be entered into a random drawing to receive the full set of these pins before anybody else in the quadrant. Now, this is important. The contest is open to Twitter users in the United States only, and your retweet has to be done by Monday, February 15th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern to qualify. Now, if you've already entered with last week's news, you don't have to enter a second time. But if you haven't done so yet, now's your chance. Now is your chance indeed, because these pins are awesome in really two months before anybody else gets them. That's amazing. That is pretty cool. And they're they're so cute. <laughs> Unlike you. And like your face. There you go. Wow. Way to, yeah. way to stomp right on my joke. And that does it for the news from Trek News. <laughs> that for the week of February 11th, 2021. Remember, for all the news on all the Star Trek show, please visit our great friends at Treknews.net. Have a great week, everybody. Live long and prosper. Coconut.